Hi. Hello. <laughs> good afternoon today. <laughs> Not morning. Good afternoon. Good yeah. afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Robert and I are having this sweet conversation about what's going on in our lives the last days. And yeah. I said, my life is kind of, I'm in a space where I'm a little bit in between a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of changes taking place within. And when I checked the, the collective field today, there were kind of two things that really stood up. Yeah. The one is depression. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of uh, people feeling depressed because this this one thing after the other taking place on global basis. Yeah, we don't need to go in that. We all are well informed, <laughs> and if you're not, well, there's nothing to do about that. But yeah, but, um, it's like a very heavy, heavy depressions or uh, hopelessness mm. taking place. And uh, I've been on this planet for heck of a long time and i do recognize this time of depression and hopelessness as something that is not what we call the, the normal kind of depression okay and that's interesting yeah it's more like something that takes place when there are uh when you stand there and it's like the last choice yeah but that's so it's yeah. funny because i recognize what you are saying yeah in my own field mm -hmm. and um, and for me it was a wake-up call to go inside mm -hmm. because so so inside so outside so as, yeah. as below as above it's all it's all valid and it's getting more and more clear that that it really is like this so yeah. uh i was getting annoyed by all those restrictions and new rules of to play how to play that game and and I'm I'm not a, I'm not playing the game, so that, that mm -hmm. for me it's more like how do I slalom around all these uh, yeah. obst obstacles, yeah. and it made me realize to do my inner work more deeper, even more inside, because mm -hmm. everything outside which is annoying me or irritating me is something inside of me. Yeah. So and when you say. Um, that people get depressed, I, I recognize it, but then they still need the depression to yeah. realize that they can also go inside. Yes. And when they do that, then everything, then, then you got you, you, you got the steering wheel again in, in your hands and you got the power of yeah. the feeling of power because you are doing something and you can change yeah. something and you've got the, then you connect to your multidimensional being powers. And, yeah. and even if you're really, doing your best you can connect to other planetary systems and it's, there's no limit in it so everything is there as soon as you realize that it's all the in, it's it's inside and um and i feel something coming up for that shall we start with that, that yeah do that and yeah. maybe i will fill in after yeah 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 and uh so, so um it has to do something with people to realize or maybe give them a little push further in their misery because mm -hmm. it's all helping them everything is helping them to come to a certain point which is beautiful for them and have their own power again so I'm holding my tears back and that is uh, no it's just because uh, I got a guest uh, this is something that I usually don't do anymore but I'm going to do it this time uh, when you were bringing in those energy yeah there was a sentence that appeared yeah 
in my field. And it was, there is a crack in everything. And that's how the light get in. Yeah. And it's a sentence from Leonard Cohen's. And he was actually standing straight beside me and my, where my hair went straight up. And he was kind of flooding love into our field. And that was the energy. The reason it came is was, that was what you brought in. Mm. Uh, it was like a wave of beautiful, beautiful, compassionate energies that had a soothing and compassionate energy to it that made it possible for even those who are the most afraid or the most depressed or whatever to kind of allow that crack to take place mm. because whatever this is is kind of a protection for something else you know yeah. and suddenly Leanna Cohen stood there and said that sentence and wow <laughs> I never get used to this because the whatever level of love I managed to feel there's always something that shows up and makes me feel more mm. and and uh, <laughs> I kind of get overwhelmed sometimes which is beautiful yeah, yes uh, also the line was so perfect because what is this uh, depression and what is all these things it's kind of a protection for allowing us to go deeper and find and take a look at and feel into what is stopping us from uh, living yeah but, uh, as true beings and one of the reasons i have uh, felt that the depression and whatever is taking place right now is something kind of different is that it's not personal in the way we are used to when when we talk about i'm depressed or whatever it's more like a, a personal thing taking place in your life yeah this is everything is personal when you feel it but this is kind of a huge downward going spiral that kind of is uh yeah moving in the entire collective field yeah and, and that's a yeah. funny thing about that is that um um which really relates what happened to me yesterday i saw a woman and she has two children and children's and schools and testing are really a an issue and uh that woman i was was really feeling desperate to to take some action because this this was for for her her limit yeah and i, I relate to everybody in this depression the collective depression is bringing you, you to your limit yeah it's helping you it's, it's it's pushing you a little bit further than you normally would be pushed and now they push you and then you stand there and you say okay now i have to do something I, and that, that's the other energy which i feel coming up is the art mm -hmm. the energy of being out, out, out authentic yeah. and sovereign in and and by expressing yeah in any way which is suitable for you expressing that that you are an authentic sovereign yeah. multidimensional being so it's all it's all helping with what if you're standing in the middle you don't see it so yeah. and, and some I feel some energies coming up and they're connected to the hara and to the heart. And they're like uh it's funny it's giving me shivers all over me too. I'm, I'm kind of like, I feel like I have a fever. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was so beautiful because what I saw, I saw the field and I saw these huge energies coming in. You know, when, when there's ice outside and you put salt on it, it starts to crack up and, and melt. It was like the entire field 
started to crack up and melt a bit. Okay. And then I saw you as a multidimensional galactic being. Uh, and now I'm, on, uh, I'm just going to end up crying uh, all day today. Uh, actually placing this candle with a flame burning into the heart of so many people. Yeah. And, and uh, after that, there was like waves of waves of, of beautiful, loving energies kind of streaming down to support everybody and instead of being kept in this field of like hopelessness and, and despair and depression it was mm -hmm. like an opening to see uh, look there's something else here there, there's there's hope there's light there's light yeah. there is love there is someone who cares there is a light within you take a look it's there yeah you, you're not it's like when you say to someone you're not forgotten mm. look there is a light within you, no matter if you don't see it yourself. I see it. I see you. You know? Yeah. I got the planets coming in a little bit here. Uh, yeah. yeah. They are kind of taking advantage of the opening uh, that was created and it was like they brought in, a I call it a blanket of light because that's how it looked, but it was purple, violet mm -hmm. flames and purple light that kind of descended down so that when people dare to open, dare to see their own light, um, the energy gets transmuted immediately so that it becomes bearable. Yeah. When all this light shines in that it don't get too overwhelming mm. to open up. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I'm uh, I'm I'm uh, uh, I, I'm glad, glad I brought the Kleenex because I'm um, <laughs> that's just okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. You both got a go fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> oh yeah, and, and, um, do you feel that these codes are helping people enough when they're feeling depressed? Is, is this enough or do they need more? Because I can, can imagine some people which got mm. stuck in this, in this uh, yeah. energy and, and then this maybe is a bit too uh, the crack in, in, in the darkness is not the way they want to, they, they will reach out to. Yeah, I've, yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, uh, if you got something on it, uh, bring it in. Uh, and I will talk a little bit about another part of this. Yeah. But, and, and bring that in first. Yeah, so, so this, this is really aimed for the people who are, uh, how do you say it, caged, caged, this is the right word, caged by yeah the distraction of, of darker energies yeah and it's, it's it's going to be from this area um, yeah. um i feel the collective again coming in yeah it's, i feel this 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 shivering already it's yeah Yeah. 
I immediately got a picture of a huge butterfly that came and sat on the trot. Mm -hmm. And it started to unfold its wing. And it said that uh, we are not used to expressing our emotions. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the things that really keep us stuck in the loop of depression. Yeah. We don't express until we explode. Yeah. Yeah. And then we explode, we create a loop because then we end up blaming ourselves. Yeah. And then we got it going. So there's a lot of uh, <laughs> girls are crying. Yeah. There's a lot of energy coming up from the heart and up to the throat. And the butterfly is just saying, yeah, but you know, there are butterflies, but they say they only live for 24 hours. Yeah. But they fly around and they, they don't sit, sit down. They know, I said, the butterfly say, I'm not sitting down and, and count the hours I are left to live and, and think about the sad it is that I only have these 24 hours. I dive deeply into creation. Yeah. I dive deeply into living completely, fully, bringing into myself all the nectar I can, soaking up, spreading my love, spreading my, my wings. I live 100% fully before I let go. And he said that is the expression that humans need to, to, to bring, to lift energy from, from the heart and up to the throat and speak with a voice of love and don't hold anything back because nothing, when you speak from love, nothing can be expressed wrong. You don't hurt anyone. You can't hurt anyone when you speak from love. Yeah. People can get a reaction, but that has nothing to do with you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so really learning to, to uh, use the discernment. And, and to stand up and, and it's safe, it's safe to express. And for me, it always helps to put your yeah. hand to the heart and then yeah. speak from the heart or love or how you want to call it. But that yeah. gives me, it, 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 it makes me connected to my heart and it makes me feel more secure to say anything. Yeah. But it also helps not to push anything over the, yeah. over the edge to somebody else. It's always, it's, it's in yeah. my field. Yeah. And then even if you say the most, for another person, the most stupid thing, yeah. it's still your thing. And, and then what, exactly what you say, if, if any reaction is, it, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You don't say anything for the reaction. You yeah. just say it to get it out of your system to make space for the, in this case, the butterfly. Yeah. <coughs> so that's the most, for me, the best lesson of the last years is that just say it mm -hmm. for, for to getting it, get it into the light. Yeah. The light can transform things and, and that's it. And, and, yeah, but I would like to uh, hear some of the additional information from your side. Yeah, because uh, I'm just going to bring through something because I feel there is something that is coming through that yeah. has to do with the jaws. And the neck also. Yeah, neck and the jaws uh, when it comes to expression. Now the dragons are coming in and they say, look what we do, we open our mouth and we breathe and we breathe fire because then everything that comes out is being transformed and transmuted immediately. Ashatamania tu. Ashatamania tu. Ashatamania tu. The dragons say that sometimes it's not even 
necessary for you to put words on your own feeling. You can put the breath, you can breathe out everything you feel because words sometimes tend to distort mm -hmm. what you really choose to express. So you can just and all the feelings and everything will kind of flow through. Even the power of the dragons make me feel teary today. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's 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 like speaking out or breathing out. Tears yeah. help to get things out as well. Uh, yeah. so, so never be shy. You you are, you ain't, but for everybody else, uh, never be shy to shed tears because it helps to release uh, the the pressure which is building up in the system. Yeah, and, um, I'm a bit curious, Inger. Mm. Is there a specific technique to do the, the breathing uh, with, which releases like the dragon? Is, is, is there some, because sometimes I, I hear and listen to you and then I hear that you make, uh, it, sound, so it sounds like you make sound with the exhale and the inhale. I do. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I do is I connect with the dragon and ask him to sustain me in breathing through me. Okay. To strengthen my own dragon aspect and ready to but there's something we call actually we actually call it the breath of release because when if you look at a baby when a baby has been crying yeah uh, babies they cry because their energy system gets in overload so yeah. they just cry it up and when they're finished they do like <sighs> you know yeah and then they let go uh when i do On that breath, I connect to what I want to release. Okay. And then I... It's kind of like I see like I have like a balloon within me that I connect to and then I empty completely. So for... And then, yeah. yeah, sorry. So, sorry no, I, I thought you were finished already, but then... Yeah. yeah so then you were saying... Yeah, so then I just let it completely go. I just let it go, 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 go. I don't think about it. I become the breath. Mm. I, when I do that, I, I am the breath. Yeah. There is nothing, nothing outside me in the breath. The breath can hold a lot of feelings, emotions and stuff, but there is nothing outside me and the breath. There is a oneness with, uh, or a, a complete alignment. Or you, you're just into completely into what you want to release mm -hmm. and in that there's no escape it will release it will transform and what do the dark dragons do when they breathe out when they release they breathe fire yeah yeah you hear when the dragons bring in it's like almost like listen to a thunder and when they breathe out it's with complete fiery so either it's passion but whatever comes through it's completely purified yeah yeah. Also the fire. Yeah. So okay. that's what I use yeah. it a lot to, to. And sometimes it's like different words comes through or that are being usually repeated mm -hmm. three or more times. Uh, so oh, beautiful because I was thinking if somebody is is mm -hmm. feeling depressed and yeah and then okay and, and how do I do it? <laughs> that's what more. Yeah. Uh, 
that's and actually, yeah, breathing is a good technique to, to deal with depression. And that is simply because when you breathe fully, you can't think about, you can't think I'm depressed and breathe at this, do this breathing at the same time. Exactly. Because it yeah. takes, takes you, the hand on your yeah. heart or the breathing is most doing the same thing is take you out of your mind because your mind tricks you. Yeah. Because your mind makes you believe that everything which comes from the mind is the best thing. Mm. That's not true. The mind is tricking us. Mm. It's, it's the heart which is, con is the correct connector and it's the correct yeah. uh, compass. And, and the breathing is very related to the heart because the lungs are uh, uh, shaped around the heart. So they are like a, they're really they're like a team in, in, in the pulsing of, the, of, the, of this physical body. So yeah. really interesting. And, and, and also you, answer, you already answered the question I wanted to ask and it was okay. uh, because sometimes if you, you said the, the dragon said don't, so you don't have to speak words and sometimes then, then you think about the topic, the mm. depression in this case, and then you start thinking about it, but then you, do, you make it your, your own mistake because you start thinking about it and the, and the breathing helps to get out of that thinking again. So that was the question I wanted to ask, but it's already answered and very, very, very helpful. And um, in my course I'm, I'm preparing, I'm also making a pillar of light. Mm -hmm. and I think people will be helped with that. And uh, this is a little tryout because no, normally I do it on a person and then, uh, because then I can see that most, for most, most people have a like like a pencil pillar of light, yeah. very very narrow, and um, the the light language is based on widening it. Yeah. So I will try to, not try. I will do it for the collective. Yeah. And um, maybe you can later on see what's happening if if, if it's happened or in, in a proper way. Um, but I think that will help people. The people will listen to this uh, to mm. to get in a wider energy, which is also helping them to see the cracks yeah. where the light passes through uh, easier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, That was very interesting because I decided I would take it in in myself and then I'll give feedback what I experience yeah. first. And it was like, uh, if you have a tube, you can put your hands in it and you kind of stretch it, you know? So I felt I kind of was stretched all the way down. And when it came through, it started to spin up in this beautiful, full, uh, looked like sun rays, yeah? Uh, in the field and I was looking and I said, this looks familiar. What 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 is this? And I, I actually, uh, you know the tube torus. Yeah. 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 Actually, I saw this this pillar inside was the tube torus, and the way it was spinning around was actually is an amplifier and extension and strengthening of, of the tube torus. Mm. That was uh, for my body. It uh, that was very interesting, and that is very good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I have to put my lights on because I see that the shades are getting in. Okay, yeah. Otherwise, I'm getting into the dark. <laughs> Get into the dark. Bit, bit <laughs> because the, the light and outside is still sunny, and then it's a little bit. The, I see the camera has some problems with that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't because it's sunny, and it, uh, yeah. it did snow over here. It, it snowed for. It, we got a snowstorm. Um, oh. Wow! And uh, Patricia and I were driving on the, in the snowstorm, and there, and there was a big 
uh, hail of snow. And I was driving, and I was like, mm, I can pass that. And then we got stuck in the snow hill. Oh <laughs> so, Did you have a show? <laughs> well, yeah, with, with my boots, I could take it off, and, and it was, but we could not get out. It was really funny. It was like a nice adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> yeah, because uh, she, she got those snow tires. So they, they, they're prepared for winter. Okay. And, uh, and I like playing in a car in snow because everybody's like really scared and I'm like mm. <laughs> this, 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 this was a new experience <laughs> it was really interesting <laughs> but, but this 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 weather is it's I'm, I must, I'm assuming that at your place the weather is like this as well it's like winter time it's beautiful yeah. 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 we don't usually have a lot of snow here in Denmark at least not the island where I live on but we actually have like this yeah something in the, in the middle of the city yeah yeah and beautiful yeah the thing about this because i've had some works of works of that usually in the city white snow gets gray yeah and black very yeah. quickly it didn't it's still pure white and it's amazing to look and it's thanks thanks to the lockdowns and then uh, yeah. and, and all those yeah. because there's uh, less pollution all over yeah. so so yeah. All the plants and all the the air is more more clean. The first lockdown, for, and, and I could for the first time it was in the in the spring, and I could for the first time in, in since my youth, I could see a clear blue sky again. Ah, yeah. That was beautiful. I was like, look at the sky. It's so beautiful. I'm so thankful for this lockdown because yeah. that that reminded me when I was a little boy and I was lying in the on the on the grass and I was mm -hmm. looking up to the skies and then you had this. We got those Dutch uh, clouds, which are really curvy, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, beautiful white against the blue sky. And I haven't seen that for, for ages. And now it was there. So all these, yeah. these COVID things really help our planet and help our, our health systems because there's less pollution, because there's less production. So Absolutely. Yeah. It's like rediscovering the planet and you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then we can really remember the good things and the beautiful things and <laughs> yes, we replace can. that <laughs> because it's all remembering in, in what mm -hmm. we are doing. So yeah, it's interesting. But what beautiful the the the, the how do you call it the, the torus? Tor tube torus, yeah. Yeah, the tube torus. I yeah. saw the entire, I, said, I was standing inside because I can see the energies inside me and, and around both with eyes open and closed. It doesn't matter. I see the same any anyway. Yeah. Um, so when I saw they started to, to, the light went through and I saw the edges and how it, I said it's kind of amping up or, or strengthening what you have Taurus, all the energy, the flow and the widening, it was like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting an energetic love shower. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's nice to have. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I do it uh, directed to a person, yeah. Uh, my objective is to get the champagne feeling mm -hmm. getting through the tube, yeah. and and not sometimes, most of the times, I get the feeling myself, and then it's like, yeah. this is why I do it because yeah. that's the nice feeling. It's like yeah. you stand there, and it's like, oh, this all this little champagne bubbling feeling in all your system, in your whole system, but also outside. It's, it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. I just love those feelings too. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when I feel that my, my every cell in my body feels like it turned into flowers. Yeah. Sparkling flowers. And it's like, and you feel so, you're not heavy, you're just bright and you're light. And yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. It was, I, I don't remember how it is to be a multidimensional mm. energy. Mm. Sometimes you must have these senses or remembrances. Yeah. Of being a field of flowers or or, or butterflies yeah. or yeah. Uh, sometimes I get those images that that they're they're not I'm not sure if it's remembering or that it's fantasizing but sometimes mm. there's no difference between fantasizing mm. and remembering but it's really interesting I I, I love it yeah especially mm. when you you talked about this this butterfly getting out mm. that was also really um, 
yeah, I think profound is the right word. Really deep mm. and, and, and interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was so touching mm. because there's such a truth in it. Yeah. Yeah. There's such a truth in, in, in what it, it expressed. And, and uh, I got yeah. the feeling that you have to do some planetary work for this supporting this. I can bring in, let me see. Kachti, 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 keo kotono nameni, kia katasana nanata kai, kio kotono no sotono no 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 tatatasha, kia mene keto yo kotono miya katanasha taia. I'm going to use a dragon to ground this because this is a huge energy.
You got something that I want to control on that one? Yeah. First, I want to say that I saw a star on a pyramid shining really direct light and felt for me from out of the third eye. Yeah. And, um, and it was really deep connecting into the earth. So, and to that, we can just see what's happening there. The first thing I saw uh, just before when I was bringing in was that you know we uh, we know that everything has its expression on different vibrational levels, and there was like the collective field and us being attuned to a new level of expression, and as you said, it went to the third eye to open us to receive that. And then it was like everything, <laughs> every, the sky, everything opened up. And I saw a lot of planets moving and then one particular came down and it was absolutely shimmering, glittering, beautiful, big. And uh, when it said that I'm the expression of the new earth, I'm earth in another dimension wow. and then <laughs> and then it kind of started to send its vibration into the cracks into the field uh, so it's no it's no wonder that we talk about remembering the true beauty of the earth because somehow that energy expanded as into the level where we could start to receive even another level uh, of this beautiful earth. And then it's kind of, it was kind of ho hovering over the collective field, like just didn't go into it, but it was beaming, radiating into it. And uh, after a while, I felt that entire earth kind of started to descend into my heart, mm. deeper and deeper and deeper. And it took me a while to be capable of talking. Yeah. And uh, uh, somehow there is there is this new level of, of reality and whatever you want to call it. And and uh, when you brought through uh, your sounds, it was like it was widened even more. It was like, um, the access became possible at even deeper levels. Uh, so you kind of bridged it even deeper into the, uh, not what to, I don't know what to call it, made it more available then, call it that, made it more available, yeah. Um, it's like the, the radiation from this, I call it new earth, new planet, whatever. Uh, it's gonna be ongoing and it's going to help us raise our vibrations. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Did so much about that, yeah. Yeah. And also felt that then it really brought through their kind of also made its way through some density levels so that it was possible to rise the vibration yeah. enough for lower levels to receive yeah. uh, what we are creating for ourselves in, in, in this time. And for all those people who are still getting into this time yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> We, start, yeah. we started talking about people who are feeling depressed. And, yeah. And I really, I really, I'm sure that, that this, this is helping them. Um, yeah. and, and, and even, and there, there are people who haven't been feeling depressed yet. Yeah, that's really good. Because they were like an ostrich, like, mm, yeah. I don't, I'm yeah. not really, this is not really my world. And yeah. they can still slalom around it. Yeah. And, uh, but at a certain moment, you have to do your inner work, and then you have to get mm -hmm. into re the remembrance of, of, yeah, of the of the of the, f and then you can connect to the feeling of this of this new earth, yeah. which is beautiful, and mm -hmm. then you start uh, manifesting your own powers and mm -hmm. everything which belongs to that. So it's it's, it's a rather interesting session we do <laughs> today. Yeah, it is. It is. And there is still one thing we can do. Okay. When it comes to these things. So that was also something that um, came up uh, around the depression thingy just a few minutes before I got online. And it was strengthened by the energy of this planet that beamed down. We said that in order for us to fully let go of everything, we have to let go of our addiction to it because for such a long time we haven't fully had access to our own mm -hmm. uh, energy enough to feel completely sustained so we have kind of exchanged energy in between us and one of the ways that we have kind of created cleverly to, to uh, really feed ourselves is what we call drama <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that yes, one. Of course, everybody. No further explanation on that. No. Yeah, but uh, we we and I've seen this, and it's been so up with a lot of people, especially the last week. It's like it's you know these things collectively goes often in waves. Uh, the themes, and with the depression, also get the, you can actually get addicted to being depressed. Of course, yeah. Yeah, and you can be addicted to, to, to constantly diving in and giving energy to dramas. Yeah. And what I've come to see uh, and was reminded this morning with a phone call with a beautiful friend of mine is that we are releasing a lot on this planet right now. One of the things we are releasing are what I call distorted timelines. Yeah, uh, so just a reminder, when distorted timelines are released, they pass through our consciousness on their way out. Mm -hmm. If there is a fragment yeah. of addiction within us, it's so easy to jump on that timeline, give it energy and, oh, do you know what happened? Oh, I saw this and I saw that and this and that and blah, 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 and there you go on the distorted timeline that is just passing through. And I've seen a lot of emails that I've gotten, a lot of videos that have been sent me, a lot of stuff where people say, oh, my guys told me this and my guys told me that. And then they elaborate a lot of a distorted timeline that actually was on their way out. Yeah. And there are a lot of people, or a lot, I won't say a lot, but there are some yeah. actually jump on. Uh, when when they open up to receive uh, information, yeah. especially when they open up instead of open in, it's so easy to connect to these types of energy instead of the purity that comes from yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so actually, I want to see if we could find something to kind of could sustain or collapse the energy of addiction to 
to drama or to staying in the drama or to staying in this if there's anything we could yeah we can of course we can yeah and, uh, i see it also in combination with uh the opening for those persons yeah so don't because uh giving attention to drama yeah is still getting to the outside and not getting into the inside yes so i see the combination of that it's it's like yeah. So if we can reverse the, the 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 energy which is getting out in towards mm. uh, reversed into in, inside energy, um, mm. and all the addictions are like programs and like drama yeah. addiction as well. So mm. okay, let's do that. That's clear <laughs> for me. It's all about trusting that yourself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 of course. yeah. But the the the. the but trust is even further away for those person if because yeah. they don't it's it's like the habit of yeah. paying attention to something which is outside yeah and that's 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 creating the addiction of yeah. being in contact with other persons who are doing the same thing because then it's it's like it's like family it's like it's, it's, then it's yeah. normal and it's, uh, it's okay let's 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 focus on that mm. um That was very interesting because what I immediately when you started, I saw like a lightning bolt came down, kind of into a, a field of structures and collapsed it. And then I started to see a uh, number eight, you know, laying num number eight, infinite symbol. But it wasn't the infinity symbol because it was round. And it was it more, more like uh, glasses that are completely round, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I watched and watched and watched, and then they started to move, and then, but bind them together, cracked, and then they opened in the inside so that they became, you know, like this instead. And what I saw was actually how this thing with addiction had been kind of a loop, bind together, moving up, back and forth and back and forth into between the different polarities and how the connection between the two polarities broke. And when that broke, there came an opening in the loop mm -hmm. and the energy started to flow freely again. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Wow. Mm. I call that spot on, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> When I understand what what we're talking about, and I can just put it there. Yeah, exactly. I really f that I think even if people are even do have the slightest recognition that they have an addiction to drama or that they enjoy drama or to feed themselves to drama, play that clip again and again and again. Yeah. Because it's so darn targeting, completely. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's been an hour already again. Are you kidding? 
<laughs> this is what we call timeless true worlds. Yeah, because <laughs> time it's, like, it's like it's like yeah. it's not that there's no time, but it's like jumps. Mm. Big, huge jumps. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. What kind of title will I give it? Because I, I wrote down antidepression, but it's much more than this. Yes, it is releasing depression and uh, uh, addiction to drama, something like that. And bringing in more of the new or something. I have to figure a way out to make smaller. <laughs> yeah, make it, make it, uh, uh, yeah, more, more. Uh... Depression is also some kind of an addiction in my in my world. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's really that releasing addictive uh, patterns. Yeah. And then the new world is a more nice uh, present extra mm. bonus or something yeah. for them. I got one extra thing I would love to teach people, and it takes around. Of course, well, yeah. if, if it's take, uh, taking half an hour, if you like to do it. But... <laughs> yeah, no, it's something I've learned and uh, myself uh, from Solara, and uh, it's uh, a quite profound, very short exercise to get oneself out of duality if you're stuck. And what you do, you actually put your hands up like this. Yeah. While doing that, I, you state, here I am. Here I am. Here I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. And then in that position, you embody all that you are. Yeah. Then you can talk to duality and say, hey, duality. Hey, duality. I'm, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm taking back this planet now. I'm taking back this planet now. The game is over. The game is over. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Bye bye, duality. Ciao. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it feels amazing. And that's all you need to do. And when you've done it a few times, your body and your energy feel recognize it. So whenever you get into a situation, just do yeah. like that. You can do it. I'm here. Yeah. I am here. Yeah. All of me is here. Very interesting. And you can, yeah, and you can talk to, to, uh, uh, situations, you can talk to the global, you can talk to whatever, but I'm here. I'm in charge. I take over this planet now. No more duality. The game is over. And this, this time, no more drama. <laughs> no more drama. <laughs> the drama is over. <laughs> oh. It's playtime. <laughs> <laughs> I hope many people will watch this because it's it's, yeah. it's been interesting energies and, and amazing, yeah. especially people with, with any not addiction but yeah. any, any any depressed feelings or feeling yeah. stuck or something like that. I hope that, that it will help them. And, and yeah. um, we did uh, a week ago. We did the one with changes where we supported the changes and and rewriting the stories. And this kind of fits very into it. Yeah. Because when you change, you have to let go. And, and when you let go of something, when you change something, it's not a normal. No, that depression comes up as a result of many of these things. So they're kind of very interwoven into each other. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Sure. And um, so if somebody wants to contact Inger, they can do that via Facebook. Yeah. If somebody wants to contact me, you can do that via Facebook or and please subscribe to my YouTube channel mm -hmm. where I put all this, uh, these uh, recordings. Inger and myself also do healings. Yeah. And for those people who are, who are interested, we can also do a dual healing. And the yeah. results of that were astonishing. People were really, really yeah. enthusiastic about it. Yeah. We were interested about it as well. <laughs> oh, we have fun. <laughs> yeah, we had fun. And, 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 and we, no, no, it's interesting. Yeah, but it's, it's really, uh, sometimes they say one and one is three. And uh, I, 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 we, we felt that it was like that or even more. So it was really mm -hmm. interesting if somebody has a, a sticky pattern or whatever uh, and wants to see that. Uh, mm -hmm. 
we try to do it as much as possible, Inger and, and myself, to make these recordings and hope you enjoy it. Please let us know because we are still human beings here and we like to get some feedback and, and response on that. Uh, this, so please, if you listen to it, uh, give some feedback. Also, especially this one, but for every recording we make, uh, it's true that if you repeatedly listen to it or watch it or listen to it, the codes come into deeper layers into your into your system. The codes will stay in the in the recordings. You don't don't uh, be don't worry if you didn't see it. Uh, uh, if you see it if, in a couple of months, they are still there. Um, is there anything and uh, you want to add to this, Inger? Just don't give up. Yeah, and if no if, matter what, don't give up. Stretch out the hand. We will be more than happy to to sustain you and support you the way we can. Yeah, because we are too precious to give up on ourselves and that goes for each and every one of us exactly exactly yeah. and it's that there's only beautiful things coming so yeah yeah it's getting better and better every day yes, it is. so please please hang on to it and then if, if it's getting uh, if it's getting hard repeatedly watch this mm. and, and enjoy the show yeah thank you yeah thank you very much <laughs> till next time <laughs>